with um, Roscoe Tanner to serve the VLAS first game in the five Flyer. set, best of five set final in the Marlborough Australian Open. Paul. First point was interesting. It doesn't tell us that much, but it looks to me as if uh, the way Roscoe hit that volley, he's going to concentrate his attack down the middle of the court to Vilas. Oh. He'd be doing that to uh, try to jam Vilas as Tony Roach did in, uh, in their match in Sydney. Double foul. Love 30. Notice how quickly Vilas got to that ball. I mean, he, he almost made a, a winner. It was about six inches below top of the net, but it was uh, it was on. Out. 30, 40. I love that name, the man with the bionic arm. I love it. <laughs> well, he gave it that one. Beautiful to watch Vilas when he's running, uh, running for forehand or backhand. He takes the ball so early and he can crack it down the line or cross court. Oh. Oh, yes. yes. The floor in those uh, first points are the two double faults, but the rest of it. The silk department stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Very well said. Silk department stuff. Well. Out. Advantage server. We often hope that it'll be a final, it'll be a great match, and I can't believe this won't be other than a great match because they're great competitors, and neither will give an inch. Nah, he did, he called it out, and then he saw the Go players walking, Tanner. and he changed his mind. Uh, well, I'd argue yeah, with you Yeah, he's a bit, saying John. that he went like that, but he didn't. He called with one hand. <laughs> well, uh, no, let me take issue on this. It's not a call until you vocally call. You can raise your... You shouldn't raise your hand, but there's an instinct, and that's one of the problems the umpires have got. We're talking about last night. They really should sit on their hands. See the other two umpires? Can you quickly shoot up the other end, Brendan, the umpires at the, behind the court at the um, southern end for me, please? See where they're sitting, where they've literally got their hands under there behind them, and, and that often is they sit like that, so they can't get their hands to shoot out instinctively. Well, it's yes. dangerous, I know. I don't know. I think you should... Uh... I'm with John on this, but it, I, as I know it, it is not an official call of out until vocally it is called out. No, this game, anyway, after all that, Roscoe Tanner, one love on service.
Well, there's a lady who works at Nilex. Uh, she's down there. She asked me to bring this program up, the uh, tennis book. Gee, Villas to serve. Would you uh, sign that for the lady? She works with Colin Long at Nilex. If she was with Nilex Corporation, she's a nice person. Out. 15 loves. Love. Up. Forty love. Nuke, yeah, they'd be giving each other a decent try, wouldn't they? Very important match for both the... both players. Fault. Foot fault called, that's interesting. Villas has a very good hooked forehand from wide out there. That's how difficult that serve became. It swang, literally, more than swung, it swang. Really moved out wide. Well. One of the interesting things to watch about this match is, is going to be where Tanner serves to Vilas is uh, one of Tanner's biggest weapons is his serve, and one of Vilas's biggest weapons is his return of serve. Well. So it'll be interesting to see how Tanner uses his serve against the Vilas return. Mm. Game Tanner, he leads two games to one. In many games I've watched, you always get a feeling that the players fill each other out for about three all, to about three all, and then you, somebody seems to make a determined effort. It happens often. Did you ever consciously work to a position and then say, let's go? Uh, well, not consciously, but for whenever you start a, a match, you should never, you know, show everything you got in the first few games. You've got to, you know, hold something back and uh, to allow for a change of tactics but these two boys have only played each other twice I believe so yeah. there's a certain amount of feeling out going there it looks to me as if Roscoe Tanner has decided to really go for his second serves to put a lot of speed on them and surf to the Villas forehand quite a lot I've got a win each new well. Yeah, I tell you, Guillermo, uh, Tanner fell down, but 
Yermo didn't bother to look at him or anything. He just called for the balls. He wants to serve the next point. Fifteen all. Nicely into the body on the backhand side. A good service from Velas. Ball. Thirty fifteen. for Tanner to break through the fourth game of the first set. Well, let's see where Vilas uh, elects to serve to Tanner, where he thinks Tanner may have a weakness. Bob. three games to one. Colin, you may be interested in talking with the, the guys I do before the game in the, the alleyway there. You can often get a, a feeling of uh, how they're acting. Roscoe seemed pretty relaxed. On the other hand, Guillermo seemed to be rather tense. Tanner's hit about eight second serves, and seven of them, I think, he's uh, served to the Vilas forehand. Interesting. Ball. stands well behind the baseline to receive serve but as soon as he's got that service return back he moves up to the baseline and his next shot is usually played inside the baseline. Oh look at that. 30, 15. Commenting earlier, Michael, that uh, in the press this morning they were saying you know, Tanner was the guy with the bi bionic arm. I don't know whether you saw that. No. <laughs> 40, 15. Four games to one. Nuke is really looking good, isn't he? Long way to go, of course. Yes, well, they've, they've both settled into the match very quickly. Yes, that's Jan Tiriak on your screen.
screen there now. The famous player from Romania and also the, the coach and mentor of Guillermo Vilas at the moment. Why a Romanian with an Argentinian? So it nearly is a it's funny combination. Syriac's taken up with a few of the younger players. He, he, he helped Nastasi get established on the circuit. Of course, he was a Romanian. And after that, he's, he was helping Orantes for a while. And then he was helping Panatta. And now uh, Vilas is the latest one. And he's acting as manager for Vilas also. Vilas doesn't make a move unless Tyriac uh, says so. And you'll notice Vilas during the match, you'll be you'll look round at Tyriac and um, every now and then for maybe some instructions, some confidence. Out. Out. Fifteen love. <clears throat> Vilas down one four in the first set. Bit tentative on that forehand volley, wasn't he? Oh, oh. oh. very good. Fifteen forty. Five games to one. Hey, Newt, he's putting him through in this first set, isn't he? Yeah, he's playing really well, but it's funny, it's, this is like the fourth set against Rosewell yesterday. Tanner started off down love 40 in the first game, and all of a sudden he's up 5 1. He did the same thing against Rosewell. Tanner serving Five. for the first set. Double five. Up 15. And he'll expect to serve a few double faults today, I think, because he's really going for his second serve. I agree with his tactic, too. I think he's got to go for it. Well. Oh, 30. He's moving that ball beautifully into Vilas's body on that service. John. Yes, he's taking a, a tip from Tony Roach, who did exactly the same to Vilas in Sydney. Well. I wouldn't be surprised if Roscoe had had a word to Tony before he played this match and asked him for some advice. Oh, there's a great shot. Forty. That's incredible, isn't it? Five <laughs> one and love forty. <laughs> yes, but uh, remember that's when Roscoe's dangerous. <laughs> good serve. Fifteen forty. Do you reckon he could have a bionic arm? <laughs> Fast, isn't he? Out. Yeah. Well done, Vilas. Game Vilas. Tanner leads five games to two. Well, irrespective of how the set finishes, I think we're going to see it a, a very much stronger Vilas in the second set. I think this is a warm up set for the man. He'll try and hold service and give it a go for the next one, but irrespective of the set. I think the match is only getting underway. Well, I feel, Colin, that Vilas hasn't found his serve yet. He hasn't served very well in this set. The first serves that he has got in, we saw in his last service game, he was down 15-30, and he put a serve out to the Tanner's forehand, and it wasn't that good enough serve, was it? Tanner just ripped it back across court for a winner. 
So we'll probably find his serving will pick up. As he gets into the second set, he'll find a, a bit of rhythm. But if he has got a weakness in his game, it'll be, uh, it would be low volleys uh, where he's forced and his second serve. I think sometimes he gets a little shaky on the second serve. Occasionally, Vilas uh, has elected to stay back as he did yesterday, but I think Tan has made up his mind that no matter what happens, when Vilas serves, he's just going to hit out and go for his returns. Vilas serving, score 2 5, first set. Ooh. Clean love. <laughs> I thought it was out. Yes, it looked out. <coughs> Bob? Rushing the serve a little bit, isn't he, Colin? His rhythm is not good today. He's not on balance at all. Off. His pace is down too, John. He's, he serves much harder than that. He's not as hard as Tanner, we know, but by golly, he can lace the ball, and at the moment he's content with just over three-quarter pace. Well, I think he'll settle into it uh, soon. Fifteen, thirty. Trying to step up the pace just a little bit in the last two or three serves, John. Yes, he is, but his uh, ball, ball tosses was a little erratic still. Out. Out. 40, 30. It's like an early first game the way they're playing this one, isn't it? Flat footed tenor then. Ladies and gentlemen in the Eastern Bank, could you please be quiet while the players are about to play? Thank you. <laughs> it's the Melbourne Hill. <laughs> Foul. Foul. Oh, <laughs> Tanner leads five games to three. Let. Oh, Colin, I was looking down there, <laughs> uh, standing up here looking down, I saw Tyriac raise his fist to Vilas and shake it as if to say, come on, break back. I'll be almost frightened not to break back if you did that to me. <laughs> Fifteen love.
30-15. He's been hiding that. He unleashed it yesterday. <laughs> he didn't play it in Sydney, and he didn't play it in the early rounds of this. So he's got the so many shots, hasn't he? He yep. got the message from Terriac whether he can oh. put it into practice or not. Out. <laughs> Thirty all. Bit upset about the slippery court, Roscoe. Uh, thought he lost his footing a little then as he came in. Oh, yes, sir. 40, 30. It's a serve that comes down around about 140 miles an hour. The leads you into one set mm -hmm. point. Tanner wins this title, Michael. Uh, they, they might uh, want to swab his arm to see if there is bionic material in there. <laughs> well, weight transference is very good too with all the arm swing, John. Advantage receiver. Maybe your trouble in tennis is you didn't have a terrier threatening you. I didn't think I had any trouble, Colin. Oh, I'm sorry. I was quite happy. Good boy. <laughs> Let's okay. see where he serves. Forehand or backhand? Out. Yes. He wants that same ball back, Nuke. Yes. Yeah, I would too after a serve like that. Lucky ball. Receiver. Roscoe's just got to keep panning them down, hoping he'll miss uh, a return. Oh, you've got to keep after him. If, yeah. you, if you let him get to you while hitting those winners, well, you're in a lot of trouble. You've just got to accept the winners and keep after him. Like that. <laughs> yes. Tremendous. His third ace. Advantage server. Set point again to Roscoe Tanner. Oh boy. <laughs> Game and first set to Tanner. Six games to three. New balls, please. You yep. can hear him thinking, get that back, baby. That was yeah. like the one service break, wasn't it? First game. Yes. It's, a, um, it's amazing to me, Colin, that when um, you know, when I tried to serve that hard, I have to grunt and do everything. Tanner just sort of throws it up and uh, it doesn't take that much out of him. No. You were noisy. Oh. Well, you are noisy. <laughs> John, just talking about your service, we've said it many, many times, you've been down there, you always had... Uh, uh, the facility of bringing out a very good service when the, the panic stations were reached on a 30, 40 point, sometimes even on a 40, 30 point in your favour. You bring out the big ace. It seems to be a habit a lot of the good players, though, because this fellow just did it, didn't he, Tanner? Exactly the same. There was a threat coming to him, and he launches two superb services, and boom, he's got the game. Well, that's why he's a, a great server. Not just for the fact that he can hit the ball hard, but for the fact that he can get it in when he has to. Yeah. We looked at those rankings before, and just to remind you, in the world rankings, and these are at December the 12th, the ATP official, Vilas is number six, and uh, Tanner number 11. But we've said many, many times, there's very little between about oh, 25 or 30. I'll explain uh, the next opportunity, Colin, how they arrive at those rankings and how they can change Good, thank week you, by week. The score now, love all, we start the second set, and Vilas has lifted his game, but couldn't hold Tanner at 6-3. Well...
15 love. As we predicted, Colin, he's settling into his service rhythm a little more now. Out. Out. 40, love. I sense the crowd are 60-40 uh, in favour of Vilas. Oh, great shot. 40, 15. Understandable, Colin. They probably think of him as one of us because he won his first big title here. Let. His first really big one. Yeah, yeah. He'd, he'd won a lot of other, but not classes, a real, but you know, not a real big one like the commercial yes. Union Grand Prix. Ball. Second set. It's too early to talk of critical stages of the match. Thought comes to mind, though, that um, for Vilas, he must get the second set. And Tanner at the other end would realise if he could take two sets to love, he's got a, a commanding grip on the game. So uh, right now the players will be concentrating flat to the boards on this set. It's terribly important to both boys. Yes. Colin, while I've got an opportunity, I'll just explain about that scoring system, the, uh, how they do the seedings. They're done on a computer ranking where the, your results week by week are fed into a computer on a point system depending on the, on the uh, value of the tournament. This tournament is the highest uh, ran ranking you can get. You get the most number of points by winning this tournament along with Wimbledon, the French and Forest Hills. And uh, a $50,000 tournament wouldn't carry that many points for it if you won it. Anyway, this computer ranking is done and it's kept up to date on a 12-month month monthly basis. So <clears throat> it can change all the time. And just to show you the strength of the field in the computer, a guy like Ash is at 12 right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, Panatta is 7. He won the Italian and the French this year. Uh, Vilas, a guy we're seeing down here, is, uh, is number 6. Uh, Nastasi is three. It's uh, it's incredible, isn't it? The yeah. strength of field in oh. men's tennis today. I'll ask you one other question. We get a moment on on those uh, point system. Fifteen low. If you get beaten seven five in the fifth, does it count anyway in your favour as distinct from being beaten six love six love six love? No. A win's a win. The loss is a loss. That's right. We have a computer ranking. We rank 200 players in the world now. Fifteen all. And let me tell you, play another number 120 or 125 or 130 isn't a bad tennis player. No. <laughs> very, very tough. Well. Out. 30, 15. Bob. 
Chucking in a couple of loose ones, Nuke. Yes, they're good dipping returns. You mm. It's a lot of topspin on the return, and it's uh, dipping down at your feet all the time. Well. By the same token, the, the volleys uh, have been just a little loose this game from Tanner. Out. Out. Advantage, receiver. It is definitely much more difficult to volley a heavily top spun shot dipping than a ball coming through flat, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. You really have to uh, go down to the ball, bend your knees. Well. Ooh. It's a confident call, but uh, I wouldn't have any idea. But mm. yes, Vilas is getting quite angry with his forehand he return of serve yeah. on uh, Tanner's second serve. Tanner's putting a lot of spin on it, and Vilas has, has, with his top spin on that side, has to hit against the spin of the ball. Bit of a breeze blowing up down there. Server. We might watch his footwork of uh, Vilas John if he gets caught in the same spot to see if he's getting round to the ball. He might be hitting across his body. Oh. Beautiful that time. Game Tanner. One game all. Well, it's a capacity crowd now when you look around. Uh, they judge their uh, time of arrival, yep. a lot of people, I think. Well, well this match started, what, about ten past two? Mm -hmm. It was about on target, wasn't it? <laughs> Love, 15. I was talking to a friend of uh, Kerry and Raz Reed's, and uh, he was... Reminding me of the night we were talking to Kerry. Paul. When she asked me my ambition, I did say to interview you after you've won a big title in Australia, which is won two. Oh, oh great, great shot. Well, what I set out to say, the guy who was sitting next to Rasmus is black and blue. <laughs> 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 he's, he's been thumped unmercifully. Raz uh, Reed gets a little excited while Kerry's playing. Well, there's a panic station coming here, fellas. Yes. Well, one game all in the second set and love 30. And Villa stayed back. Uh oh. Oh. Out. Out. <laughs> Tanner's across court was dangerous though, John. We asked, we've been asked why Vilas does that with the ball along the racket. That's just to clean up any sweat that's on the handle, I guess. Oh! Out. What happened there? Well, he swung at that ball, and as he was swinging, he, his whole body turned away from the shot. And he was nearly facing the eastern bank when he finished that swing. Oh, great return. Oh. Oh. Game, Tanner. He leads two games to one. Well, we saw the gentleman from Argentina go into a negative approach to his service, John. He uh, decided to stay back on several occasions and he allowed himself to be put on the defensive position, and I can't believe that's the way he plays his best tennis. Well, he gets a little nervous on the second serve sometimes under a lot of pressure, and he just has more confidence in his backcourt game than he has at the net, I guess, but um, Roscoe Tanner's playing some great stuff down there, and he's keeping pressure on uh, Vilas all the time. And he hits a, uh, three tremendous forehands in that game. So I was just wondering the... Uh, is it Vilas uh, playing badly or is it Tanner uh, playing damn well? It's Tanner playing very well, keeping the pressure on Vilas and not giving him any breathing room. Yeah. <coughs> I had a nice letter from a Mr Angus uh, Bragg 
and uh, from Corwin. And uh, <laughs> he worked it out how I could pronounce Guillermo correctly. And the first time I tried it, I stumbled over it. Guillermo. 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 Vilas. The umpires have called him a lot of names from Villas to Vilas and Villas. He says uh, here that Guillermo is Spanish for William. I didn't know that. Well, Lou Hurd up here said when he went to Spain and practiced with him, he was called Willie. <laughs> Out. 15 love. So you learn something every day. Thank you for that gentleman taking that trouble. <laughs> he's serving well, Colin, isn't he? Well, he's riding high and we know what a tremendous tennis player he is. He's got his sights set on victory at this stage. Well, out. out. Forty five. leads three games to one. No answer to that. I've noticed Vilas backing off from some of his shots so John. The second service of Tanner, for example, he's still backing off rather than going through the ball like he normally would. Dean Love. Well, Tanner's got him worried at the moment with the power of his service. It's uh, not letting Vilas settle down at all. He's playing great. Thirty Love. And on return of serve, he's uh, going for them so much. We saw two errors there, but he's just going for the return of serve as much as he can. Paul. Out. Out. 30-15. Yes, you can't underestimate the performance of Roscoe Tanner, can you, at this oh, stage? No, he's, he's blunting the Vilas uh, attack at the moment. Or counter-attack. Oh. <laughs> 40, 15. I noticed he also said in the paper this morning, Vilas, well, if you can hit one winner, why not 30 of the same shot? Oh. in the one match. <laughs> out. Out. 40, 30. Well, he's showing tremendous respect. With his second service, he's staying back. He appears frightened of what the ground strokes of Tanner will do to him. Well, he stayed back yesterday against Alexander. No. Colin? Tactically, I find it hard to believe it's the answer, but... Uh... Out. Out. He slipped on the grass, on yes. that uh, dry spot there. Mm. Well, it's very glassy, but there should be grip on his shoes, shouldn't there, to counter. Well. Well, 1-3, and it was 40-15, but it's back to Juice. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Advantage server. Three, 
on you. What's the answer? Is there any? From Vilas's point of view. Well, there. He, he's got to keep plugging away, and um, you can't do much about it. If you get a break point and Tanner hits a, an ace, you know, what can you do? You just keep trying, and you hope that he'll miss some first serves and give you a chance to hit at his second serve. But what's happening is when Tanner does miss a first serve, he's putting so much spin on his second serve to the Vilas forehand, and I mentioned before that that ball is spinning one way, and Vilas trying to hit a top spin forehand has to hit against the spin. He has to spin the ball back and rotate it the opposite way. And he's mistiming some of those shots, and that's causing him some concern, I think, and unsettling him, perhaps even more than Tanner's serve. The fact that when he sees a ball that's not coming that fast and he can hit it, that he's not hitting it. Good play on Tanner's part, though. Tanner, 3-2 in the second. He took the first, 6-3, serving from the northern end. Let's watch this serve. Oh. So. 15 love. Could I amend that? Let's try to watch this serve. <laughs> he Don't blink. He never moved. Oh. <laughs> 30 love. <laughs> it's frightening, isn't it? <laughs> Up. Up. 40 love. I was just going to say, Michael, I've, I've served four aces in a game myself, and it's a, it's a great feeling. Four in a row, you know, just starting off a game. Well. Out. Great service game. Game Tanner. He leads four games to two. You, you'd be, if you were facing him, you'd be hoping the ball didn't hit you. Well, I played him uh, in Hawaii uh, two years ago in the final of the tournament there. It was indoors on a fast surface and I just started to, instead of waiting for it, I just started to try and guess which way it was going and as, he, as soon as he tossed the ball up, I moved that way. Well, and at least that way, if I did guess right, I had a good chance to hit it back. Love 15. I want back I, to that I might, why did you win? Yeah, I was just going to say, I... I won the match 7-6, seven, 7-6. Six, seven, six. I never broke his serve once, so I don't know whether it was a good tactic or not. Well. <laughs> Double fault. Love 30. How many doubles, Colin? Well, Bill, I've got him down for two doubles and two aces and five aces and three double faults to the other gentleman named Mr. Tanner. Fifteen thirty. You're a dull nuke. There'd be tennis fans hanging on your every word and think, no, that's a good idea, I'll try that. And then you turn around and say you never even broke his service. Well, I had about seven break points. The thing was, Michael, that it almost became like a comedy routine, him trying to guess which way I was going to start running before he hit the ball. <laughs> oh, great shot. Yes. Two, four, thirty, forty. My godfather, this is getting really serious. Yes. 
half an inch and it was uh, would have been two service breaks to Tanner. Fault. Excellent play from Roscoe there. That's the way to do it. The guy's going to stay back, attack him. Oh. Think he'll come in off this one, Colin? Well, it's about darn time he did. He's going down the drain as he gets into that net a bit. Well, stayed back. Oh, not up. Yes. It had to be an indifferent bounce then, John, didn't it? It didn't come through at all. Yes, the court's very uh, mixed speeds, I think. Yeah, it's very bad in that dry patch there. Fault. Well, Vilas at least is coming into the net. He's worrying me that he's staying back. I can't believe that a defensive approach he's got to this match is the answer. I just don't see it. Advantage receiver. Well, Colin, the scoreboard is uh, vindicating your theory. Well, well, maybe I'm being smart because of the, of the uh, scoreboard, but uh, two for advantage out. They need to slip somewhere here, and he's in dire distress. Left. Ooh, Tanner. Yeah, he's jumping up and down. He wants this point bad. <laughs> he can smell it. Oh. Yes. Out. Advantage receiver. Well, John, you've indicated that Villas's volley has not been exactly his best shot, and maybe this is a bit of a fear of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Well done. Yes. Paul. Tanner won't be rushed. Oh, he's going to come in now. Seven. Can have slipped in that dry patch, in here, but I still don't yes. think he would have got oh, it. No, here. No, couldn't, couldn't have got it with a plastic arm. Not even a bionic arm. Oh, wee! Yes. They're playing some great shots, aren't they? Mm. That's out. 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 Advantage seven. Colin, Vilas's bread and butter serve to the left-hand court that he's serving to now has been cut out. He's gone to the Tanner forehand a couple of times. There he goes again. And every time he does, Tanner hits a good shot. Well played, Vilas. Game, Vilas. Tanner leads four games to three. I regret to say there's going to be a couple of comments passed about that court when this match is over. I, I feel sure of that because it's a matter of getting beaten, but uh, a terrible feeling if you lose that confidence with your footing, isn't it? I think in fairness to, uh, to the groundsman, this uh, hot spell we've had in Melbourne, I don't think that would have helped, really. Oh, we're not attacking the groundsman, Michael. I was just clearing that up. Uh, I'm well aware of that, John, because you wouldn't do that sort of thing. <laughs> Too much of a gentleman. Apart from that, Lyle will hit you right in the eye if you start. <laughs> he's certainly his dog on to you. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, uh, you know, we've had a very dry spell here in Melbourne, and I guess that's the main cause of it. 
You can only put so much water on a centre cord, can't you? Mm -hmm. Our telephonist uh, has been hard at work again. Yes, the message this time is that they're sending up a string of questions. She said, please, I wonder if you could ask the people to ease off. The board's lighting up like uh, <laughs> no, we would do the that. Eiffel Tower with <laughs> questions, and they're, they're most not answering questions. They can't watch the television. Well, the thing is, uh, we'd like to answer questions up here at the commentary position, but there's too much great tennis going on, so Quiet, please... please. Uh, would you refrain from ringing up the LTAV office? Sit back and enjoy the tennis on the Seven Network. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Well, it's now what? 4-3, tennis serving, is set in hand. Fifteen luck. Have you seen Tyriac in the last game or two, uh, John? I watched him a while ago. I... I'm not sure. Oh, gee, that's power serve. Thirty luck. I don't think there's much Tyriac could uh, help Phil, I suppose, at the moment, except uh, maybe Tyriac could run out in the court and thump uh, Tanner on the left arm. <laughs> oh. Try and slow him down a bit. No. He's amazingly quick, PLS, isn't he? Yeah, and he ran down a couple of ball boys at the same time, then. Oh, oh good boy. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Six aces. He leads five games to three. It's not only the aces, of course, it's the destructive <laughs> power of the ones that uh, just force errors, isn't it? Yes, well, they start off the game, uh, Tanner comes round to serve and goes boom, boom, and he's up 30 love. It uh, just doesn't give Vilas a chance to get into the game. So far, anyway. 3-5, Vilas, second set. Ball. Right. Still tentative, isn't it, uh, John? Still not opening out on it. Out. 15 love. I think you made the comment last week, Colin, that during the commercial union tournament, Vilas just went for everything on his serve and um, it paid off for him. Oh, oh that's right. absolute. Wow. What, what, tremendous. 15 all. <laughs> Out. 15-30. Gee, he's putting some pressure on Vilas. He's got him pretty worried now, hasn't he? Oh! <laughs> A good get, wasn't it? Oh, yes. 30 all. Oh. I didn't think he'd even reach that. Very quick. <laughs> Not up. Thirty forty. Set point to Roscoe Tanner. He took the first six three. The uh, second. Game, Tanner. In the second set. Six games to three. Tanner leads two sets to low. Are you surprised, John? No. Um, <clears throat> I thought either player could win this match. I know uh, with Tanner's, ex Tanner's explosive power, I saw, him to I saw him do this to Jimmy Connors at Wimbledon this year. He took Jimmy Connors apart in three straight sets, and uh, <laughs> anyone that can blow Jimmy Connors off the set in the, in the semi-final of Wimbledon 
in three straight sets. And easy, too. It should have been um, the only set that Connors was in was the third set. And Tanner led five games to two in that set. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, obviously, we'd have to worry about Tanner's game, what he's going to do. He's got a pattern that's pretty darn successful, isn't he? He's going to keep the same thing going. What can Villas do? Sorry, uh, Carl. Sorry, Michael. What can Villas do? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Yeah, what can Villas do, Nick? You're the expert. Yes, well, I, s <laughs> I said before, Michael, that um, there is nothing that he can do at this stage because... Tanner is serving aces and unreturnable serves. I think he's just got to he's got to hang in there. But I think he, what he should do on his Quiet, service please. games, he should definitely uh, get more first serves in and start attacking more. He can't stay back behind his serve. Tanner's playing too well. Tanner serving, starting the third set. Oh, oh. <laughs> almost an ace. Love. So say, when you're hot, you're hot. Man, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hot. Let eat love. Yo yo. Ball. Feel us gave him a look, he couldn't believe it. Did you see that look Ryan, last Tanner, One love, third set. Well, for the first time in my life. I wish I was a gambler. Because after the quarterfinal, I was offered five to two, Tanner. <laughs> is that right? Well, I was just wondering what the what the betting is up in the in the bar there. Was. <laughs> yes. Well, what what it's the book started out at. They usually have a little private book that goes around the bar up there, and um, I actually picked up twenty dollars myself yesterday. Haven't been paid yet. Frank sedgman has got a bit uh, on Roscoe. Actually, they're experts at Monopoly up there. <laughs> Fancy that, man. You know, I just don't gamble. I, I'm not preaching against gambling. If people want to gamble, that's their business. I just don't fancy it. I hate to lose, actually. I'm a great winner, but a shocking loser. <laughs> I, Five to two. I am amazed with this match because I really believe that Vilas and Tanner were going to be evenly matched. And if Vilas played like we saw him yesterday, that he could go through and win. And here he is outplayed. There's no answer to it. He's outplayed. That's right. I would still love to see him just really throw caution to wins and play like I've seen him and see if it would come off. Well, well he, you know the old saying, you can't pull your socks up. There he is now. He's uh, going back there. He's Tyriac's uh, telling advice to him, and I'm sure they're speaking in some language that uh, the people around don't understand. Well, but, we'll uh, see if there's any change. If I was giving any advice to Vilas right now, it'd be to start attacking as much as he can. He's got to take this pressure off himself and apply the pressure to Tanner. Let's see what Tanner does. Uh, staying back. Won the point, though. 15 love. Well, He's got to serve harder than that, too. That was a pathetic serve. Love. Tanner's not frightened to have those lines today. Mm. Yeah. 
Out. 40, love. Also, he's pushed a lot of stuff down the centre of the court on the attack, hasn't he, to take the angles away from uh, Villas. Yes, he's playing the game very, very well. Well, He's obviously thought his tactics out well in advance for this match, and he's sticking to a plan. Forty fifteen. Oh, what a Great service. service. Game, Willis. One game all. New balls, please. Well, that's the fastest serve he's thrown in for what? Um, four service games? Mm, that'd be about right. Let's see if tennis stirred up. Yes. Fifteen love. See what a great edge it is there. I mean, he, boom, he's up fifteen love. Oh, that net, uh, poor net, <laughs> getting hit like that. Oops. Oh. Man. <coughs> That's too good. That's all there is no. to that. Yeah. 40, love. No. You said it before. There's no answer to it, Cole. No, there's no answer to that stuff. It's two free points already this game. Three. Okay, <laughs> Turner. He leads two games to one. I don't think I've seen much better control power than this boy's oh. putting on. No, really. Well, this uh, would be a, a very good win for Mr. Tanner, wouldn't it, uh, John? In the computer ratings, and give him quite a few points, being such an important tournament. He certainly would. If, uh it could move him up to around three or four. As much as that? Mm. Well, they're all pretty close together. Uh, Connors, incidentally, in the computer has been heading it for, um, let me see, 75, 76, about two and a half years. He took over from me. I was heading the computer on May 1974. And just after that, he won Wimbledon and um, took over the lead and he hasn't uh, relinquished that lead since that time. You, this would be uh, Roscoe's first big title, wouldn't it? Yes. What are the advantages of being in the top eight in computer rankings? Is, is it money or is it seedings or what? It's money because it means if you... If the big hand for Felix as he walks out, but it's money because uh, if, you, <laughs> if you get in the top ten, ten, it means you're winning a lot. <laughs> oh, well, that's one answer. Yeah. I was being a little facetious about it. Bill is serving, down one, two and the third. Ooh. Fifteen love. The crowd really trying to pull him on, Mike. Yeah. Gosh, you shouldn't have done that, Junior. 15 or wind, wasn't it? Uh, mm, ballooned it. Well. Oh. 
15 30. Oh. You feel surprised, don't you? <laughs> when he misses one. <laughs> That's right. But uh, Vilas, surprised. Oh. Oh. Thirty, forty. Breakthrough point for Roscoe Tanner. It could be a almost a match point, couldn't it, Michael? At uh, yeah. two-one in the third set and two sets to love up. Yes. And Vilas decides to serve and come in to threaten a little. Up. Advantage, Serbo. Two games all. He went to call it that linesman, you know. He yeah, start to move his uh, hand and then everything he was moving. Mind. Yep. Well, Roscoe's had a couple of doubtful ones, but fortunately he's not thrown off for long. Right back into it. Well, look at that. Fifteen love. He's only answers to hide his rackets at the changeover. <laughs> Cut his strings. Yeah. Well. Oh, oh <laughs> laddie. Really went right through the ball. Good Out. <laughs> Forty love. And we've all been associated associated with tennis for umpteen years. Really. I can't remember such a sustained effort of power, Cole. No, this fellow's just going from strength to strength. Oh. That low volley, that last one, pushed it to about six inches from the baseline down the centre. Superb shot. Look at that. Oh. Off the line, Game skinny and low. He needs three games to two. Yeah, with due respect to all the players we've seen over the years, for a sustained effort I'm getting at. Yeah. He's been going, what, for uh, two and a half sets? Well, I in two hours, tw uh, uh, ten past two approximately, I yeah. reckon they started, so it's about an hour and twenty minutes. And he's going doink, doink, doink the whole yeah. Somebody said there were three breaks in the of serve in the first set, not one, is it right? <laughs> Again, we would ask people not to be ringing the LTAV office uh, with questions. And let's be honest about it, the way uh, Tanner's playing, we just haven't got time to answer questions. We'd love to do it. We'd love to uh, arrange some special television program, Nuke. You can be the answer man. <laughs>
Love 15. You'd do it for nothing, wouldn't you? Yeah, just like you would. Fifteen all. Well, come on, Velas. Let's see what you can do. It's an ace. Thirty fifteen. Oh, Roscoe, that was an ace. No, no, Tanner's. Tanner's are asking the linesman at the back if Vilas is foot folding by dragging his back foot, uh -huh. foot across the centre line, like Colin was talking about earlier. Well, oh. and is he? I, I wasn't watching, but um, forty fifteen. Let's have a look. Find out for yourself. Watch his back foot, and you see the little little centre mark there in the middle of the court. Okay, watch his back foot when he serves. It comes right across. Oh. He definitely didn't then, but maybe on the one before, uh, Roscoe felt that he had. And it gives him an advantage if he does that. Game, Villas. Three games all. Under the referee warning, I'm sure Villas has moved at least a foot. Mm -hmm. Further to the right, showing that full court. Not being warned, he, he crowds it a little bit. Paul. Away we go again with this power display from Roscoe Tanner. Can he keep it up? Up. 15 low. Broken? Uh, it's been a long time before he's been to Juice. Let's see what he can come up with here. Advantage server. <laughs> he's unreal, isn't he? <clears throat> Four games to three. You're going to wander down, uh, yeah. Michael, to the to the centre court. You think I'll that, going. You think it could uh, the match could finish soon? I uh, some odd reason get that 
feeling. Look, to be quite honest with you, I can't see what Vilas can do to stop this onslaught. No, there's not too much. What's the signal? Just got to hope that Tanner lets up a little and uh, lets him in. But he's running out of time, isn't he? Yep. John, I must ask you, um, the temperament of Vilas. Uh, I saw him uh, get very dejected against Tony Roach when he was being outplayed. He, he, um, he definitely went into his shell. Without quitting, he went into his shell. Does he do that occasionally? Well, you, uh, you made the statement the other day to me that you felt he, were, he, he may be a better front runner than from behind, and um, could be true. Could be true. He's definitely not a quitter, but he just his game may... You know, it might, it might be hard for him to change his game when someone gets on top of him. Let's we'll certainly find out today anyway. Mm, <laughs> he's a long way to go to win, hasn't he? Yes, if he gets out of this position, uh, it'll be a tremendous effort. Out. 15 all. Oh. Colin, it, you get the feeling that Vilas is almost in a state of shock down there, don't you? <laughs> don't you he's shell shock. <laughs> no, here he is, he's just taking a second now, and I think he realises he's, uh, he's drifting a bit. Oh. <laughs> 30, 40. Oh, he should really take his time this time and try and get take a couple of deep breaths and come up with something big. Well, well, loads of trouble here. Double phone. Okay. Let's have a look at that, would you, on, on the disc replay of Vilas's serve? A good chance to show it to us, Brendan? Quiet, please. Here's Vilas's serve. Is this the, the second serve that he double faulted on just yeah, then to lose his serve? And immediately goes really? in the reverse. Look, yeah. straight in the reverse. Really tender. 15 low. It's Tanner serving for the Australian, Marlborough Australian Open Championship. Oh! Out. Couldn't believe it. 15 all. 15 all. I think if he serves out this game, it's got to be one of the most awesome displays ever seen in the final column. Yeah. You say? Thirty fifteen. He's thrown one point up in the air. He's still thirty fifteen. Shit. Out. Oh. Out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. Roscoe walks back. Dean. Now, would you like to have a little bet on this match? Yeah. <laughs> match point. <laughs> You've been there, John. It's a lovely feeling, isn't it? Oh, it's a great feeling, Colin. Yes. He <laughs> can't believe it. No, he just keeps. Game, set, and championship. Tanner. 
three sets to love. Six three, six three, six three. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you, Barbara. Well, they, they have a saying in America, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. And I think if you look at the faces of Vilas and Tanner, you can see the, the whole picture there. I had to laugh at Roscoe, though. Uh, we're looking now at Vilas putting with his sweat jacket on. And I watched Roscoe before. He picked up his racket, he put him down. He grabbed a towel, he threw it back. I know, he, he doesn't know what to do, does he? Now. All he wants to do is say, it's great. Look at him, look at him now, shaking his head down there. It's great. Yeah, he put him down again. Picked him up, put him down. <laughs> Over for a drink? Uh, no, it takes his wristband off. Hold on. <laughs> he, he can't do anything for longer than five seconds. <laughs> he's doing that. He's kidding around there for Arthur Ashe. He's, uh, Arthur Ashe is taking some, uh, some photographs and... Close Ladies friends. and gentlemen, while yes. the players are just toweling down there, may I have your attention once again for the President of the Lawn Tennis Association of Australia, Mr Wayne Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Reed. Mr Hurley, Mr Young, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. This tournament has been a fantastic success, as has the whole Marlborough series developed. We are terribly grateful to Marlborough. They stepped in.